We mentioned that we were going to have a guest today. I think I see him right here. There he is. Jonah and I are heading out of the campground. It is day one with everybody coming to the big Florida Super Show 2023. It's gonna be a big day, isn't it, Joan? It is, it's gonna be a full day. It's gonna be a full day. We got a special guest. We'll introduce him later that is driving down to see us and be part of this. That's gonna be fun. Well, we're looking forward to him coming down and being part of the day. We're going to check out some more RVs. There's tons of them. We're gonna cross the road here as we come back into the press issue, press area that they're gonna allow us to come through. We're gonna have a lot of fun today, so uh, stay tuned, RVs, and hopefully we're gonna meet some uh, I Love RV Life viewers. We'll make sure we get them in video and get some pictures up on Instagram and Facebook. Fun time at the Super Show. Joan, let's go look at some RVs. We have made it to the first day, yes. It is um, 11.30, and the world has changed, hasn't it, Joan? Yeah, it looks like it. It has changed a lot. Yesterday was Vendor's Day. There might have been, you know, a dozen or so people here in the Midway. This is the Midway. And we are gonna walk up here. Joan has not seen the new Montanas. I want her to see those. They're they're really incredible. We have become huge Montana fans since we bought one. So we're going to walk up here and look at a couple of those, see if we can get inside, work around the crowds. I mentioned that we were going to have a guest today. I think I see him right here. There he is, our guest for the day. Hey, buddy. Doing all right. <laughs> Let's uh, start this off with a bang. We'll go find Mama. Okay. And uh, we'll go through the low rent district of the uh, RV community, right wow. to your right. Where's that at? Yeah, look to your right. <laughs> oh, this is nothing yet. Yeah, uh, well, I, I, do, I did mention low rent as a pun, so. Uh, here, we'll mosey, we'll mosey right, here you go. Now, when we pass, your, pass the pleasure way, This is what I was joking about. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look it all over for you. For crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's start at a million plus. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. These are your millenniums. I think those are made in Nashville. And then you got your liberties down here, all based on Prevost. And if you notice, this is how fancy they are that you can't tour them much. They put, they put decks where you can go up to the front and peer through the window. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Well, Joel, welcome to 2023 Florida Super Show. Yeah. Glad to be here. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. This is crazy. Not, not, oh, you haven't seen anything? I, I, have, I had no <laughs> idea what to expect coming over here. So, oh, yeah. Uh, when I pulled in, and saw the parking lot and saw how many cars were here. I was like, oh my God. Uh, you are crazy. in, and that was, you didn't go to the other parking lot where I was at. No, I <laughs> parked like two miles down the road, it seems like. <laughs> All right, let's go find Mama. Right. Gotta get a hug from her boy. How are you? Hey, darling. <laughs> said, you, you told Dad, you go get him, I'll wait here for you. <laughs> it's hot here. It's hot. I think it's gonna be this hot. So this is our meeting spot. Yeah. And, uh, it is the peak of lunch, so I think we're going to look around a little bit, right? Yeah. Let's look He's around. in the market for an A-liner. <laughs> <laughs> he is dying to see you. Go ahead, Joel. That's look. you wishing that I was in line for it. <laughs> but I definitely want to see one of these. Yeah, things. these are Pretty neat. Cool. These are really oh, neat. Wow. These are great this weekenders. I know. That's I know. It's crazy that you got, I mean, a little refrigerator, microwave, uh -huh. little cooking stone here. Yeah, that's your sink. Man, that's pretty cool. And then pull up here that you know the, the the Europeans call those a hub. Stick your finger in there and pull that up. See, there's your sink, oh, and yeah. you see how that and works. Then you can put it down for have a surface. Yeah, two burner stoves. Yeah, and then that you can fold that up, and that turns into a couch. Very cool. Um, there's your toilet right there. There's your toilet, a Dometic a Dometic toilet. So, okay. And you just grab it, 
the top pops off. Yeah, there you go. The top pops off. And I think that's a cassette. It may it may empty from out in the back. And then um, here's your dining. And yeah. then you got a you got a table here. Then what's so surprising is the headroom. Yeah. It's a ton of headroom. And I think where you see that vent right up above you, I think you can get these equipped with an AC as well. That's what I, I believe. Wondering. I don't I don't see any of those like that, but it's, su it's surprisingly larger than you would think. Um, I mean, even into, uh, see, I, don't, I don't know if I can do this and hold. I got you. Let's see if I can open this sucker up. Here we go. Oh, maybe this side. Oh, it's a latch. There we yeah, go. There we go. That's so, I mean, fridge. even with that, look at look it, at how it's, much. Uh, it's like a, the same kind of refrigerator you'd have. Even in, in like a in a hotel room. Yeah, yeah. and it's even a freezer. It's even got a freezer. And the crazy thing about it is, I think those are these are all DC based. So um, that'll go down the road either DC. Yeah, so that's a D. No, that one will do gas as well. So they'll run off of propane. Well, I guess it is how much window space. I mean, it's very bright in here. They got a show price on it. Yeah, thirty eight, well, thirty four, thirty four, thirty five, thirty four nine nine nine. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. And the thing, and and it folds down flat, where you see the hinges, mm -hmm. it travels flat. Isn't that I crazy? Like the windows. I that, know. That you got built in mm -hmm. so that you're not, you know. You don't feel closed in. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's nice. Yes. Really nice. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, not heavy either. I don't know what the weight of this thing is. Usually they have them here, the pop ups. So. And you basically only have them microwave here yeah so you're yeah. you're you're giving up this extra space here and you don't have a toilet i don't think you have a toilet in these yeah so that's that's what you're giving up and the headroom if you notice how mm -hmm. joan's standing and if, if you go too much to the side yeah. you just don't have the same amount of room but look a at the little, difference in, look at the difference air conditioner. there's your ac but look but at the difference in price you know this is 25 left. and the other one was 35 so yeah, yeah. So you got ten thousand dollars for the bathroom basically. it just depends on what you want a weekender yeah, you know, right. A weekender mm -hmm. in the woods or a small campground or something right. like that. But a good little weekender. And then the weight on them is nothing. Yeah, look at this. Thing weighs 1,700 pounds and the tongue weight's only 180 pounds. So you could tow this with just any any pickup truck. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Okay, what's your name? We're going down this way. These. This is called the Evolution. This one's got a shower. <laughs> Substantially sure step does. up into Joel. This is, oh yeah, for sure, because this one has awesome. the shower, the standard oh shower. Oh my gosh. Look, oh, look where you, you hook your uh, shower tin up. Uh -huh. And that drops down so you can have your flooring. That's pretty cool. And uh, this one's got a different style cassette toilet in it as well. This is more like a, a this is your, oh yeah, those are your real nice Thetfords. Mm -hmm. And of course where you're standing is where you fold out the bed. Out the bed so yeah. yeah. And I don't see the price tag on this one. Uh, this one's a lot more. Um, 51? 51. Yeah. Almost 52. Um, this but you got a lot more luxuries with this than you did the, yeah. the, the other one that was 35. This is for off-road. This is for dragging through the woods where you can't get anything else or way out in the desert on the mm -hmm. bumpy roads. If you look, this doesn't. This has got that rubber mat that you can just hose off, right? Yeah. And, uh, and your floor folds down. Yeah, so this is a different type of a rig. That's, it's a different purpose-built rig. That's cool. That is cool. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, somebody really thought hard on that. Yeah. Well, where, are, where would the table be? Or would this... Well, I guess, I don't know if you fold Would that this down. be a table? No, no. no. Uh, somewhere around here, there's a table with legs on it, probably, that's probably down here in storage is my guess. Okay. Just storage for pots and pans mm -hmm. and things like that. And this has got AC in it as well. Yeah. And heater. And it's got induction heating. See there at the bottom? Yeah. Cool. These are well thought out design. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of impressed with this. And then you got your accessory here where you can put your grill or your griddle. Pretty neat. Very nice. Now this is a different style. This is a kitsch. It's a free solo. So it's a different, uh, yeah, we can come inside here. So this does not have, this does have a kitchen inside, Joel. Yeah. Yeah, you got two um, burners, you got a bigger fridge. Bigger fridge and a microwave, microwave. and yeah. more toilet. Shower. Yeah, you got a, this is called a wet shower. Mm -hmm. Sink, and then of course that folds down into your bedding and your storage. So, and then it has an outdoor kitchen. I'll show you that when we go around back. So, how, now how come? Because you don't have all the technology to make it fold down and do all that. This is pretty basic. So, when wow. you look at what it takes to build one of these compared to an A frame, 
gotcha. You got your composite walls. I can put these together super quick. That other one's a lot of mechanics to make that fold down the way it That's does. A substantial difference in price. And then when you're looking at the show price here of 19 grand too, mm -hmm. this gets you into camping really quick and really easy. Even's got an AC in it. Yeah. Let's look at the back kitchen. It's pretty cool. You can actually shower in this one. <laughs> and it even has a, an outdoor kitchen here. So when you're entertaining and just want to get out, hang out. And you got your little griddle. And they got an ice cooler, but get one of those little 12-volt uh, uh, refrigerators here would be just absolutely perfect. Be absolutely perfect. Very nice. Pretty cool. I bet it don't weigh anything either. Well, I'm going to be showing you something that's going to be a little different than what we typically show, and that is going to be truck campers. I've been trying to talk Joan into us getting a truck camper and going up to Alaska. And I have been seeing so much of these hosts. So we're going to look at little and big. There's some things that have always just been very attractive when I've looked at the hosts. And I think these guys are thinking outside the box. That's a truck camper. It's small. But I want to have the features that I have in a big unit. So, starting here, let's look at this. Theater seating. You see what we're doing for dining? And look at this. So, you know, we're sitting here in the night with our, you know, with our recliners popped out, uh, watching our TV at night. Plenty of, plenty of cooking space. That's always been a challenge in many of these, many of these uh, truck campers. Here's your refrigerator set up, pantry, plenty of pantry space, tons of pantry space, pots and pans, um, small microwave if you need that, no, no oven, uh, but uh, you know, a three top cooking top, plenty of sink space, plenty of, um, you know, refrigerator space here, if I can get into it. Sure, there we go. This may be, I'm not sure. This is a Norco. This might be a DC only. I'm not sure. I can't quite tell. I'm not familiar with this model, but I don't see the big fins in it. This may be a DC only. And then we'll go over to the bath in just a few minutes. You've got entry. Another thing I like about these truck campers. I'm not having to step up, step up, step up, step up to be able to get into these. You know, I've got an easy access to be able to get into my sleeping area. Uh, plenty of storage here. Uh, a TV in this area. You can open and close the skylight if you choose to do so. Charging on both sides for your electronic devices. And then here's your uh, head facilities that you have here with your toilet. That seems a bit high, but um, again, not too bad for me to sit in. Big sink area. And then we have this. You close like so, so you can have some privacy. And then you have your shower with your full closed door here. I won't use this too much, but you can pull and close it and you have your first, sh your full size shower. You know, looking at the shower facility, I'm six foot one, you know, so I've got plenty of room, you know, no problem. Plenty of space here. And again, then you get the privacy and then you get secondary access here to your sleeping areas. <laughs> I'm trying to talk Joan into one of these. I love them. I just absolutely love these. And then when you look at this, these are like, you know, this, this is smart. This is a really smart design. You know, your heating and air, aren't these nice? We'll look at a couple more of these, but, and look at the big picture one to here off to the side. And being that I have to work on the road, you know, Joan can sit over here and do her thing and I can sit here with my laptop and do what I want to be able to do. It's pretty incredible. All right, let's just see how one is being set up here inside of a truck. You know, how do I gain access to it? And you know, what are some of the features that I have? Look at, look at this for storage. Tons of storage in these hosts uh, with the slide outs here. Look at that. Keeps going, keeps going. Uh, easy access to all your water and so forth. Electrical outlets here as well. Um, this one's jacked up pretty high. You would probably need an extra step stool. But well, let's just go inside. This one I don't think has the back slide. This is a side entry. Still. Still look at this. You know, you still have the um, theater seating here. Very comfortable theater seating. A bit of a reverse plan here that your uh, TV is located here. Your 
cooking space is located here. And then you have your uh, bath facilities. It looks, these are all dry baths. Uh, these are both dry baths. You'll see when you talk about a wet bath, some of these have the closed in container and everything gets wet, sink, toilet, everything gets wet. But uh, yes, you can close this off for privacy if you need it. Again, this has got that closing door here and uh, same style of shower that we saw before. And then this only has single entry uh, to get in and out of the bed, but if one person is sleeping here, um, the other person can kind of crawl across. But this is, this. I think this might be a queen. This is big. Of course, that's for all your clothing storage over there. TV here as well. <laughs> I love these units. These things are nice. I like them. Well, unfortunately, we had a mic failure. And, and, and I hate this because Joan's comments are just absolutely classic. I've talked her into coming. She's smiling. I've talked her to coming into a Lance 1172 truck camper trying to sell the idea that we need to go for four months to Alaska in a truck camper. Now, her comments here are, yeah, that's a great idea, Jerry. <laughs> and Joel, you'll notice, I'm not getting too many comments from him. Uh, I'm going and now I'm selling here. I'm selling hard. I'm showing the big refrigerator that this thing's got a very large refrigerator and not only that it's got a very large freezer in it i'm just talking about look how much food storage that we can have here this thing is really nice and look you can be very comfortable of course she starts making comments well i don't have a way to be able to watch the tv still selling here sure you can you know i, I pull the tv out and show her how she can watch tv from her recliner selling hard uh, but I don't have enough counter space to cook. And I show her, oh, look, don't worry about that. We've got plenty of, oh, look at this. So we can fold this out, selling hard. Then she said, I'm just not sure about the bath. And I go back and I'm looking, oh, this has got a very large dry bath. Very nice, very spacious, you know, plenty of room to shower. It's very tall. And um, she's still sitting, she's still sitting in the recliner at this stage. And, I, and I'm just really selling hard. We really need this to go to Alaska. And then I look back into the bedroom and I start hearing someone come up behind me. And here she comes. She says, well, let me see the bathroom. And I'm going, oh, I'm gaining ground here. This is awesome. And she's looking at it. Yeah, it's kind of bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, I just gained some ground. And I go, look how big this bed area is. You don't have to, you know, we're not giving up any sleeping space. We've got plenty of room to be able to sleep. And um, so, I, you know, I think I'm gaining more ground here. And I start pointing over, look, you know, we got plenty of hanging space. And, of course, she opened that up in a little small hamper area of, well, that's kind of small. I go, I, I know, I know it's not small, but, but regardless... You know, look at how much hanging space we've got. <laughs> but, uh, and then I said, you, know, you know, here's where we can do all of our fold-up things. Well, um, she's now, you know, scooting out. No more comments. Uh, I go forward and I say, you know, what about storage? Look, we've got a bunk area here. We can take it down and we can get storage. Well, I'm not sure where we're going to go with the trunk camper. I think I scored points, uh, but I will assure you we're not going away from the show this year with it. Maybe. Would there be an Alaska trip for I Love RV Life in the future? We'll see. I understand not everything can be a big Montana fifth wheel. Uh, sometimes we need something for weekends or long vac vacations, and we need something to take care of the kiddos. The Springdale version by Keystone is one of those that's, you know, when you start looking at the big Montanas, you're gonna see some of the same fit and finish inside these, but in a smaller package. This is the Springdale unit. You'll notice it has a back door for a reason. And then let's go into the front here and just let me show you a few things here. We're gonna start in the living area. And in this living area, you can see, notice the furniture? Yeah, they've standardized on that. We just love this furniture. Look at this big space here. You got the kiddos traveling with you. You need plenty of space here to enjoy, you know, just some sit down time. You can pull the TV out and watch that at night. Big, big, big cooking space, large cooking space, oven, even in these smaller units. I know it's small, but it still works. Great little oven, microwave, but this is what I wanted to show you. You know, the kiddos are out having fun riding their bicycles and they're dirty and sweaty. You don't want them coming through the front and tracking everything up. Look here. Just let them come in the back door here 
and then they can do what they've got to do. Or you can put them in the shower and wash them up for that night. Isn't that nice? And then look at your sleeping area here. This also folds down, making almost a double from this. So you can sleep your kiddos up here and, you know, close this off for some privacy. So, and what do the parents do? Well, you know, you've got this as far as dining. I just want to step back here and just show you how much room is in this space. And you don't have to give up these large pantries. And then you have, you know, the parents back here. And of course, yep, you've got some sleeping area here and there's enough room, even though it's close, you still have plenty of room that you don't have to crawl over each other to be able to get in and out. Plenty of space here on the side for whatever goodies that you need to bring in at night for your phones, charging stations on both sides. Plenty of space up above here, some hanging space. You can do your folded items up here for your double, double space. And it's not shown right here, but if you look, you can put a TV back here if you choose to do so. You know, this is great, great for long weekends, fantastic for, you know, long holiday times, vacation. Yeah, I think you could probably full time in something like this. If this is the size that you could afford and you needed, you could do that. Nice big area. Good job. This is a very nice setup. What I'm finding out is that most of these keystones now come with the 200 watt solar package. So beneficial. These nice Lippert steps. This is the SG303BH. And I think that means buck house, bunk house. Here you go. Let's take a look at this. Again, this is a trifold sleeper that you can use here if you need it. That's not the big deal. The big deal here is back here in the back for the kiddos. Our daughter and her husband have something very similar and they're pull behind. You know, you can pull this down as a bunk. This can be converted into a double if needed. If you got four sleeping back here, just sleep there. And this is a nice, you know, bunk area as well. Ladder getting up to it. Set the TV up for them in the Sony PlayStation. That's what our bunch does. All three of them get back here. They're noisy. Close the door off. You know, the parents can still enjoy some peace and quiet up here. And then you still have plenty of room to be able to, you know, cook your meal for the night. Um, plenty of dining room space. I would say three little ones and Two adults could sit here comfortably. Big bath area. As we've seen in the past, door for the outside here. So when the kids come in all sweat and dirty, you just march them right into the shower, hose them down, get them ready for the night. Very, very nice. And then the sleeping area that you see back here as well. Very similar to what we saw in the previous model. Very similar. But you know, walk around, easy to make up. Hanging space on both sides of the bed. Plenty of storage for all your foldals. And you can put a TV back here if you so desire. Very, very nice. Air conditioner here, air conditioner back in the back. So if you close the door off, you know, they're not getting all heated up and complaining. Big, look at that big windows back there. Very nice. Well designed, well designed. Great weekender, great for vacation. Even spending some long term in this. I think you could be very, very comfortable with the slide out. Very spacious. So Jerry, I know you're traveling this big fifth wheel, but you know, we just want something mini. We don't want to tow a big heavy vehicle. We want something simple. We can go out and do nice weekends. We want to go to some of those vineyards that you all go to. Well, let me show you an option here. A little small, still very comfortable for long weekends or even, even for a nice vacation. This is the 1750 RD, another Springdale. These things are easy to maintain with these finishes that you have here. Again, realize it's going to be small, but you've got a nice big sleeping area here. You would sleep in this direction. Room for some of your hangups. Again, thinking weekend, thinking a week. Your foldables up here. Nice size bath. Room here for the toilet. You can sit here with plenty of space. Nice big shower. Plenty of room for cooking. Look at this. I'm thinking prep space. I got plenty of prep space. I've got two burner stove or cooktop, no stove in this, but I do have a microwave, it's available. And then a big dining area that you can sit in. You could sit lengthwise if you wanted to watch TV at night, if you wanted to do that. Um, or if you had a couple guests over, you could sit here. And this does fold down and make a bed as well. 
nice size refrigerator. Again, we're thinking shorter travel time here. Plenty of pantry space. It's a nice unit, 17 now. It's a 17 foot model. Again, I know it's small, but if this is what you're looking for, you're on a budget or you just don't have a big tow vehicle, plenty of room to sleep comfortably, plenty of room to eat and enjoy your evenings. Very comfortable space. Nice unit. Thank you.